everyone, it's the Tides Changing here, and welcome to part 21 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Together. Right now, Maya is meeting up with No Strings Attached. There actually is a new member of the club since uh, Alexander did leave. Oh, I was just having Maya show off her dance moves, but the new member is Luke Cole, who is another sim that one of you made. Uh, I just put him into the club because the creator of him requested that I do so, since uh, their little story for him said that he left his wife for Maya. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But right now, Maya is going up to talk to Madeline, who's definitely the member of the group that she gets along with the best. And uh, yeah, so Madeline is still a member of No Strings Attached, even though she's in a relationship with Charlotte. She does feel really guilty about it, considering that her and Charlotte just got back together. But she's she's still trying to figure out exactly what she wants. So on the one on one hand, she likes that she likes the passion that there is between her and Maya. She also likes that there aren't any strings with Maya that she can just do what she wants. That Maya gets her fear of commitment. But then she also likes the stability that comes with Charlotte, and that she can really hold a conversation with Charlotte and really feels a connection with her because she can't. She can't really hold a conversation with Maya the same way. Their relationship is definitely more physical. And she can't decide what she wants. Like, she feels like she's at the point in her life where she should settle down, but at the same time, she loves the fun that she has with Maya and isn't quite ready to give it up. But she does know that she has to figure out what to do very soon before Charlotte potentially gets hurt by found finding out about what's going on between her and Maya. Because she does know that Charlotte and Maya are roommates because the previous evening when her and Charlotte met up, she did tell her all about what a jerk her roommate was being and you know, said that a roommate, roommate was named Maya. And it's pretty obvious from the conversation that it's the same Maya. So she does know that she's really playing with fire here and that it's just not a good idea, but she just, she just doesn't want to stop yet. And Maya doesn't know about... She doesn't know who Madeline is to Charlotte just because... Charlotte, Charlotte doesn't really like talking to Matt or talking to Maya about relationships. Like she just doesn't consider Maya someone good to go to for relationship advice, um, especially after what she, you know what she saw Maya push Amanda into with the whole you know going for Bjorn thing. Like she just still isn't cool with that, even though she hasn't really said anything. Uh, what is this? Here you go, Maya. Try and pay it back. Oh, did I have her ask for a small loan? I might have. I, I wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing when I was talking there. Uh, what is this? Hey girls, it's ladies night at the bar tonight. Let's take advantage of the cheap drinks. Yeah, let's do this. She is friends with Candy after all. Uh, so we'll, like, I guess since it's ladies night, we'll just invite other ladies. Like, uh, let's invite Madeline and Reese. Yeah, we'll just get the, I guess, the fellow woman in the group. Who else was there? We also had, uh, I think there was... Where is she? Yeah, I don't see Jordy in here, unfortunately. Oh right, we could just we could just do this. That makes it so much easier. Okay, so we'll have these two come along. They just arrived out at the bar, and I'm having Maya chat with Candy to catch up a little bit since she hasn't seen her in a while. And I I'm pretty sure we haven't been to this place yet in this particular let's play. I know I went to it a bunch of times in my get to work let's play, but yeah, this is just a lot I got off of the gallery that looks like a nice bistro. I thought it was really cute when I put it in. But I believe the other girls are at the bar, so we'll just go over and hang out with them. Uh, so we'll, we'll go say hi to, uh, we'll go chat with Madeline. Also, where did, I don't know where Reese went. Oh, there she is. Okay, we'll, we'll get her on talking to her too. And then uh, also take advantage of ladies night and get some discounted drinks. So let's see what we've got. Oh, that's a pretty nice discount. Well, since, since the drinks are cheaper, I'm going to go with something a little bit nicer. Let's try... A sea of fire, although 66 more is kind of a lot. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Whatever, they've got a little bit of extra money. I was hoping they'd go inside to talk instead of just standing out there, but... Oh well, hopefully they all get in here. And unfortunately there isn't really a ton to do here, but... I mean, they can still have a good time. They can get drinks, eat food, talk, and all of that. Um, yeah, plus it's probably good to go somewhere other than the, the Windenburg places. But as soon as she's done talking to her, I'm going to have her go back inside and... Let's talk to Madeline. I'm not sure where Candy went off to, though. Where is she, actually? Oh, well, I'm sure she's somewhere around here, so she'll hopefully show up somewhere, but... Oh, that is a very, very nice hat that guy's wearing. Uh, well, let's have her compliment her appearance and just flirt with her a little bit. We can also... 
not asked to be her girlfriend but blow a kiss at her. And I still want to figure out where Candy is. Hopefully she didn't leave. I mean, she's kind of the one who started this whole gathering, so that'd be kind of unfortunate if she just ditched it. Yeah, I don't see her. I think she might have actually left. Huh. Alright, then I guess she had to go somewhere. Yeah, she's not- she just completely ditched us. Okay, well, in that case, I'm probably just gonna end this thing and then have them go somewhere else, like maybe- I don't know, maybe the discotheque, just because I think that that'd be a little bit more fun to hang out at. But before doing that, let's have her order. Uh, we'll get... We'll get some fish and chips for her to eat since she is pretty hungry. I guess when I ever go out to the the other place, I'll invite Candy back out and see what happens. Or maybe I'll just maybe I'll just start the meeting for the first. I almost forgot what the group name was. No strings attached again. Uh, I'll figure out what to do. But I don't know. I did kind of like the ladies' night thing that was going on. Well, let's get her talking to these two while she eats. Actually, you know, we might be able to just invite Candy back out. I don't know what it'll say if we try to do that. Oh, that's cool. Madeline's coming over to talk to her. Oh, and so is Reese. Nice. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, actually, never mind. Let's let you... I don't know. We'll try to invite her out again and then let her use the bathroom. When I had her call Candy, it said that she was sleeping, so... Um, since Ma since um, Maya still has a good bit of energy, I'm just going to start gathering with no strings attached again and go back to where we were before. Well, that old ladies' night thing didn't really turn out to be too much, but I haven't had her talk to the new member of the group much yet. So we'll just have her go over here and chat with Luke, brighten his day a little bit, and then I guess since this is, you know, the, the kind of club it is, we'll have her flirt with him a little bit as well. And, um, oh cool. Oh, hey! Hey, look at who is. Hmm, I'm not sure because I noticed something before about adding Joaquin into the into the club, but I'm not sure if I should do that or save the slots for Sims that you will have made. I mean, maybe I can just add him in, and then we'll still have another slot for another one of your Sims. Uh, speaking of which, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't have the club perks for another slot, but I do just want to check to see how much that is. Oh, who's all the way up here? Okay, so 250 perk points. Not quite there yet, but eh, we might be able to have enough to add him in by the end of the night. But anywho, we'll have her greet him and uh, talk to some of the fellow, some of the other members of the group. And then we do have Jade here, so uh, you know, uh, let's let's ask her to go away. Just tell her this is I don't really tell her this is our turn for something like that, and that she's not welcome here. And, uh, yeah, cause she's, she's definitely a bit bitter at Jade since she was the one who kicked her out of Party House, although, I mean, she's definitely having a better time with her club than she did with, with Party House. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I had her, um, kiss her cheek. Okay, so now she's going over here to get after Jade. Um, so we'll see how, how that goes. What is she doing now? I think she's... I think she was telling her to go away first. And then once she's done with... Oh, I think that she was just telling her to go away now. Wait, is she actually leaving? Oh yeah, she is. She's actually leaving after that. Uh, anyway, let's have her talk to the newest member of the group. See if... Uh, I don't know if embracing's gonna work exactly. Um, but... We'll see. Oh! Oh, that actually worked with him, just, just welcoming the new member right on into the group. Uh, let's also exchange numbers with him, and... Uh, let's... I don't know, let's see what his... Oh, I think I had... Wait, did I have one of the requirements says the Sims have to be... Oh, wait, I think I had one of the requirements was that the Sims had to be single. And I believe he might have been married. So... Oh, okay, yes. Hmm. Interesting. I thought he was supposed to be together with someone. 
I guess we can have her fla- mm, Should we try the- Nah, eh, let's just go for it. Let's try Swag Kiss. Uh, also, I was working on- I had her uh, practice her charisma skill in front of the mirror a little bit before, you know, starting this part. So she's a level 9 now. She's getting up to level 10. So she's finally about to complete her aspiration. But I was thinking that for her next aspiration, that I could go for Serial Romantic, which I know is the it's the obvious choice for her, but I think for her, rather than, you know, like, like with most Sims, going for this aspiration would be a step towards avoiding commitment, but I think for her it could be a step towards settling down because she's just been avoided, avoiding even getting into relationships. And I think that perhaps having this aspiration could be her trying to find someone to settle down with, but she keeps just finding relationships that aren't right, and then maybe eventually... You know, she finds someone who it works out with and that sort of a thing. I don't know. Like, but that was just what I was thinking where this could actually be a step towards her maturing and deciding that she maybe does want to settle down with someone, but she just kind of, you know, she has a long road to get to where she actually does settle down. Um, so that was just some thoughts I had on that. Because I definitely feel like, I don't think Soulmate would be quite right for her. Because I definitely do want her to go through a few relationships before, you know, potentially settling down with someone. And I don't think she's at, you know, she's at the point where she's just, you know, wanting to find the one, but maybe thinking, hey, I should try being a little bit more committed than I have been, because, you know, I am getting older. Oh, what was that? I think he just tried flirting with Reese and it completely failed. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, nice. Madeline's got some moves. I don't think she's quite as good as Maya, though. Uh, but, you know, let's try... Flirting with Reese. Oh, is he? What is he doing? I don't know if he's trying to flirt with Reese a little bit too. Oh, I don't think we exchanged numbers with her. Where's the music? There's no music. Oh, it's like four in the morning. That's probably why. Uh, I guess I should probably have her head home soon because there's there's no one here. It's like a ghost town because you know everyone went off to bed like normal people do around this time of night. It's later in the day and I've been having Maya practice her charisma songs. I really wanted to finish her aspiration. However, what I wanted to do this evening was have Amanda ask Bjorn out on a date since she's just wanting to spend some time with him. So let's get on doing that. Oh, for whatever reason, I thought you could ask for a date through there. Okay, so I have to do it through here. I, I don't know if I'm just mixing up because I'm playing The Sims 3 and The Sims 4. Like The Sims 3, I think you do it that way. So I keep just mixing things up between the two. Anyway, we're going to go on a day with him. Uh, I'll just figure out where we're going to have them go. I think for the two of them, just going to a bar is more their scene rather than hanging out at a club. So I guess I'll go to the Shrieking Llama since we went to Rathskeller in the last part. Since there's no one here at the time being, we'll have her give him a kiss. But once more people arrive here, I'm definitely going to have to keep things sort of subtle between the two of them because he is a married man after all, he's kind of cheating on his life, so he prob- or wife, not life, so he probably should make it super obvious that he's doing that. Um, I've, I've kind of been bad about that and forgetting because I think I've had them kiss in public in front of other people before, but then again, not everyone that they would see would actually know them, so I guess it's okay, but uh, yeah, just for, just for realism. Well, there's a bunch of people here, I'm not going to be too obvious with the PDA, PDA between the two of them, although yeah, we're starting to get some people here, so after this embrace, I'm going to be cooling it a little bit. Well, I guess it's sitting and talking with your date's a thing you're supposed to do. We'll have them sit and chat here. I think this is a cozy spot for the two of them to sit. And yeah, not really a whole lot of people here tonight. Oh! Oh, there we go. There's another guy with kind of a lumberjack vibe. Go. I don't know if that's even a lumberjack vibe. That's not plaid, so I don't know. Um, oh, where is... Where's Bjorn? What is he doing? Where is he? What are you doing out there? Okay, good. I think he's coming inside. A little bit of hesitation there. Oh, why are you sitting all the way over there? You should be sitting near your date. Okay, what are... What are you two doing? No, where... Why are they going back? Oh! Oh, he's giving her a secret kiss outside away from everyone else. How sweet. Uh, let's have them take a picture together and just get to know a little bit better. That's always a good thing to do. And she's just wanting to woohoo in the bush. Maybe later tonight, but not right now. She's a little bit hungry, so I'll just have her get, a, get something to eat from the bar. 
So I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go for pretzel. I'm not gonna be super picky this time. Uh, let's see. Sims looking for love are in the right place. It's singles night. That means flirty single Sims can buy each other drinks on the cheap. Oh, that's cool. I. I don't remember there being a singles night. Was there already singles night? Oh, is a singles night? Maybe I never really had my Sims go out on Saturday nights. I don't know. Uh, but we could order a single night's drink to go with it. Let's see, is there an option to order, order a drink for? Hmm. I feel like there should be a like, order a singles night drink for someone else option, if that's, that's what they're going for with it. Well, anyway, he's just going to stand behind the bar and talk to her while she's ordering her stuff. I guess the drink will help a little bit with her hunger, because I don't think she ordered the food yet. And it does appear as though we're getting some other sims here. Not anyone that she really knows, though. Uh, I don't think she got her drink, so we're gonna try this again. I guess there's still that annoying glitch going on where you order drinks and it doesn't come. Well, I guess we'll try food instead. Maybe we'll have better luck with food. Oh, okay, good. It looks like she actually got her food, so let's go ahead and grab it. There we go. Now we can actually grab it. And where did... Where did Bjorn go? Where is he? Oh, I guess he's... So, oh, there he is. Okay. Although it appears as though he needs to go to the bathroom, so we'll let him do that. Or not. Uh, oh, what is that? Oh, wait. Oh, this is, um... The one girl that... Uh, what's her face? I was kind of... Stalking her a little bit? Uh, I don't know if she saw her and Bjorn together at all, but I mean, if she did, then word of what she saw might get back to her roommate who's in the Paragons. I'm not sure, but she didn't really flirt or anything too much around her, so uh, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe she did some see something. Uh, okay, looks like someone's a little bit angry over here. And hopefully Bjorn's done with the bathroom and will... Oh, okay. I think... He, I, don't, I don't know. He probably didn't even go. Um, oh wait, no, he did, because he's not doing the... Oh, never mind, he didn't go. Okay. <laughs> I wish there was a way you could just force other sims to go to the bathroom. I guess he'll he'll figure out eventually. Probably if we, if we stop talking to him, that's... Oh, good, they're good friends now. But yeah, hopefully he figures out that he needs to go to the bathroom soon. I guess we should give him a little bit of space so he does that. Like, let's just... Have her go over here and play a little bit of foosball on her own, and hopefully he'll figure out that he needs to do that. Just so I don't really want him being uncomfortable during this date. All right, he figured out that he needs to go to the bathroom, so let's get back to just uh, uh, we'll just have her flirt with him a little bit, and then maybe you can ask him to play some foosball with us. That'd be nice. Okay, so stop doing that. Uh, although she is getting super tired, so... Okay, maybe I won't have them play foosball because that's going to take a little while. Actually, let's have you go to the bathroom. And afterwards, you can continue... Oh, I'll try... Okay, let's try to cheer him up. Yeah, apparently, he's in a bad mood about something. And then once she does that, we can have her come in his appearance. Or I don't know. I notice that sometimes like you'll pick one interaction and then another, and it'll put the second one that you put first. I don't know why it does that. But we'll have a comment at his appearance and then try to cheer him up because he's... Oh, oh, looks like he's feeling a little bit better. Okay, that's good to see. Well, we can have her cheer him up anyway. Although, unfortunately, that date didn't really go very well. Let's also try a pick-up line and see how that goes. Oh, apparently... Apparently he did not like being cheered up, unfortunately. Oh, good. He liked the he liked the pickup line. And let's, uh, although I said I was going to keep it kind of subtle. Oh, no, don't leave. Okay, good. I think we managed to stop him from leaving. Uh, what is this? Schedule of date. Okay, that's not really going to be happening now, but... Ooh, she does want a woohoo in a bush. But you know what? I'm going to spice things up a little bit, and... Instead of just woohooing in a bush, I'm going to have her try for a baby in a bush. Not because she actually wants to get pregnant. I don't think that she would try to get pregnant with this child to get him to stay with her or anything like that. I think she's got a better head on her shoulders than to do something that manipulative. But, you know, things don't always go according to plan. Sometimes you get surprises in life. So I'm just going to leave it up to chance and see what happens if she does this. So she might become pre pregnant from it. She might not. 
I'm not going to have her take a pregnancy test right afterwards. I'm just going to wait a day or so until whenever it is that she'll find out and see what the result is. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we'll see what happens. Um, I just thought that this might be good to spice things up a little bit, and it'd be interesting to see how this whole situation would be sorted out. So, um, I mean, if you want to leave baby names, feel free to. We're not sure if she's pregnant yet, but since she might be, feel free to. And if she does become pregnant, I'm not sure how Bjorn's going to feel about that, like if he's going to own up to it being his child or not. Um, so I think it could be very interesting to play out. But this is where I'm going to leave off this part at, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and bye!